Hi, welcome to the doctor's office. I'm Dr. Danielle, and I specialize in all things balance related. And I heard that you're here because you are having issues with your balance. Well, don't worry about it. I promise that by the time that we're done here today, I'll have figured out what's causing your issues with your balance, and I'll have a treatment plan for you so that we can get you all fixed up and walking stable, all right? Okay, perfect. So, I'm gonna have to look at quite a few things for your balance because there's three different systems in your body that work to help your balance, okay? So I'm going to be looking at your eyes because your vision helps you see or visually perceive where you're at in relation to the world around you to help you stay balanced. And then the other thing I'm going to look at is your vestibular system, which is located in your inner ears. So, it's this little tiny thing in both of your ears in the inner part of it. And I'm going to be looking at that x ray for a minute. So, this is a diagram of your inner ear, and it shows you all of the different organs that play a part in your vestibular system. So as you can see here, there are these three semicircular canals, and each of these canals is filled with an endolymphatic fluid that moves in correspondence with your head movement. So the sensors here are able to send information via the vestibular nerve to your brain to let you be aware of which way your head is moving. So each canal corresponds to a plane of movement. So like when you move your head up and down, one of the canals can sense that, and then when you move your head from side to side on the transverse plane, another canal can sense that, and then the third canal is located on your frontal plane, so it just means when you move your head from side to side like this. So your vestibular system is really important in helping you be able to sense where your head is moving in relation to the rest of your body and help you keep balance. So I'm sure you can see that if you're having any issues with your vestibular system, it can cause you balance issues. So I'll be doing some tests to look at that as well. And then, and then the last system that I'll be making sure works, or if there's any issues with that system to see if that's what's causing your balance, is your proprioceptive system. So it's in your legs and your feet, all right? So it just means that you have sensors in all of your joints and tendons and muscles and things that help you understand where your legs and feet are in position to the world around you. So like if you were to lean forward, you can feel that pressure on the top part of the bottoms of your feet. So that lets you know that you're leaning forward. Even if you can't, you know, your eyes are closed and you can't see it. You can feel it. Look at that. So, I'm going to be looking at all three of these systems. Uh, your, your issues could be a combination of issues in multiple systems, or it could just be an issue with one. So, I'll see what those are, okay? So, just stand normally for me first. Just how you normally stand. And then, like, your normal posture and things as well. Alright. Um, just look straight ahead. I'm just going to look at your posture and your feet and the head. Okay. Are your dizzy spells, are they episodic? Um, or is it just a continuous thing? Okay. 
And how long have you been having issues? Medications. How long have you been on them if you are? Okay. Can you stand up on your tippy toes for me? Thank you. Okay. Could you kind of go back on your heels a little bit? Okay. You've been having any headaches maybe or eye pain is there any nausea associated with your dizziness all right could you explain your dizziness a little bit more maybe so like um do you feel a spinning sensation when you get dizzy or do you just feel wobbly kind of off center um okay All right, I'm gonna put, um, could you take your shoes off actually? Yes. Thank you. I'm putting some gloves on so we can do some tests. Um, we're gonna do quite a few tests, but the first part is I'm just gonna be having you stand here doing some things for me and with my hands and stuff, so uh, do you notice that your dizziness is worse with static movement or dynamic movement, so when you're actually moving, or is it when you're just standing there or just sitting down, do you also get it? Alright, well, I'm gonna start with having you close your eyes, so this will help me see if you're having issues with any of your other two systems and not your vision so i'm gonna see how your balance is with your eyes closed okay so i'm gonna start with putting my hands over your eyes and i want you to just stand naturally just how you normally do yes okay so i'm gonna put my hands Okay, perfect. Now I want you to put your feet together. Yeah. Okay, good. So I'm gonna put my hands back over your eyes, okay? So just stand with your feet together, put them right next to each other. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, both legs next to each other. Okay, five, one, three, two, one. All right. Good. So now I'm going to have you lift one leg up at a time. So let's just start with putting your left leg up first. Okay. you to stand up on your tippy toes again and then we'll have it where you do your heels and then I'll, I'll have you go back and forth so kind of a, a rocky you to go back on your heels this time. Just try to go on your heels. You can kind of lean forward if you need to. Any way that you can just to stay on your heels, okay? Right. So five, four, three, two, one. Alright. So now I want you to do that. Rock. 
rocking back and forth. So I'm gonna lay hands over your eyes and then go from your heels to your tippy toes and then to your heels, tippy toes, and back and forth, okay? So go to your heels, tippy toes, no, tippy toes, okay, keep doing that, keep rocking, keep rocking. Five, four, three, two, one, okay. Good, all right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have you lean into my hand and then I'm going to so like say I have you lean into my hand this way I'm going to take my hand away and I want you to be able to come back to a center of balance so try not to fall so that's okay and don't worry I'm strong I got a lot of muscle so if you do kind of lose your balance you're not going to get hurt anyway I'll catch you yeah don't worry about it I'll catch you okay I got strong, sturdy arms, so I'll make sure that you're not harmed and that you're safe and everything's pleasant and safe for you. Okay, all right, so I'm going to start with putting my hand on the side of your head, and I want you to just kind of lean into it like this, and then I'm going to take my hand away, and then just go back to center, if you're able to, okay? Just do your best. I'm gonna put both my hands on this side, okay? Lean into this side, lean, 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 this side, lean into this side. Okay, I'm gonna take my hands away. Alright, okay, good, good, that's great. Okay, awesome. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side of your head for you, okay? Okay, so just, right, just lean, lean into this side, lean into my hand. Done. Okay, I'm gonna take my hands away. So now I'm going to go behind you, and I'm going to put my hands on your back like this, and I want you to lean back into my hands, and I'm going to take my hands away and then try to go back to center. Okay. Alright. So I'm going to go behind you. Okay, I'm going to put my hands on your back. Okay, so lean back, lean back, lean back into my hands and then... So now I'm going to put both of my hands kind of like on your shoulder so you can lean forward and then go back when I take my hands back, okay? So I'm going to put both your hands, okay. Just lean forward onto my hands, lean forward, both, okay, take my hands away. Alright, good, good, good. Okay. So, all that was okay on that part. So I'm going to take, take my gloves off for just a second, okay? So I'm going to take I'm going to use this piece of paper, it's really pretty, little cupcakes on the piece of paper, and I'm going to put it right here, I'm going to do it on both sides. I'm going to put it right here next to your eye, and I want you to be able to keep your head straight and keep your center of balance aligned straight, and I want you to look over to the piece of paper so you can like find a cupcake, just stay at the cupcake, and then look back. Alright, I'm just going to be watching the eye movement while I do that and your balance, okay? So I'm going to put this. Look at, I don't know, pick a cupcake and look at the cupcake. Okay, look at the cupcake. Okay, let's start adding it. Look at the cupcake. Look at your dad. Okay, I want to look at your, make sure your feet are stable. Okay, look at the cupcake. Look straight ahead. Okay, look at the cupcake. Look straight ahead. I'm gonna do it on the other side, okay? So I'm gonna put it there, okay. Look at a look at a cupcake. Look straight ahead. Look at a cupcake. Look straight ahead. Alright. 
That's fine. You can also check your bags if you want your stuff. It's okay. Okay. And I'll put my gloves back on. Do you feel comfortable so far? Everything's okay? All right. You dropping things. I swear I'm a professional. I swear, okay? I swear. Okay. So I'm going to cover your eyes one at a time. So I'm gonna go back and forth. And I'm just I want you to stare straight ahead while I'm doing it. And I'm just gonna be looking at your eye movement while you do it. And of course, try and stay balanced as well when this is happening. Okay? Alright, so just look straight ahead. Both eyes. This eye looks straight ahead. That eye looks straight ahead. Good. Okay. I'm gonna go back and forth. Okay. You kind of actually look up a little bit. Yeah. Eye movement, making sure you can keep stable eye contact. Okay, look straight ahead again. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna look in your ear really quick for an infection. Because sometimes if you have an inner ear infection, it can cause issues with your vestibular system and cause issues with your balance. So I'm just going to check to make sure that there's not any infection that's causing your balance issues, okay? That ear looks fine. I'm gonna go to the other one. Over here. Okay. Let's look straight ahead again. Okay. Look at this ear. Okay, let's look deep inside. Okay, I think that's it. I can see deep inside the ear. This ear condition just to make sure that you don't have an infection or anything. Okay. That looks fine. Have you had any infections recently with your ear? Like in the past year? I'm just looking. I'll get a new one. Okay. I don't have that doctor money I was buying. you stare straight ahead and I'm gonna be moving your head and watching your eye movements as I do so. Okay. The head movement's gonna be really slight so I'm not gonna it's not gonna be rough or anything. Okay. I'm gonna put my hands around your head. Okay, gotta first move it to the side. Okay, look down. Have your head go up. Keep looking. 
hamster then. The last thing that I'm going to have you do in terms of testing is I'm going to have you do a CDP test. So I'm going to have you go into this other room and you're going to keep your shoes off and stand on this platform and I'm going to put this harness around you in multiple places and then there's going to be a screen in front of you and basically what this test is going to do is the platform that you stand on is going to move in accordance with the environment that you see on the screen so that I can test to see how your balance is in complex environments. Okay? Let's see. I promise it'll be totally fine. So let's go into the other room. Okay. Alright, so now that I have you on the platform and it's stable right now, so you don't have to worry about that, but um, I just want you to stand straight and look ahead at this screen okay and i'm going to take this harness and i'm going to wrap it around your whole body okay um it's just to help protect you and make sure that you're safe throughout the whole cdp test so that's all it is and don't worry it's not going to be uncomfortable or anything I take this harness. I'm gonna put it over your right arm first. Place it this arm. your waist okay. and I'm going to have it come over your left shoulder Is that comfortable? Could you put your arm up this arm? Just lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna take this one. It's part of the harness. I'm gonna put it over you. Stomach, okay? It's not gonna be tight or anything, I feel like. Look at you. How's the tightness on your stomach? Is it fine? Okay, take a big deep breath. Deep breath, big deep breath, big deep breath. Okay, exhale, exhale. Is all that comfortable? Great. Just strap it around your thigh first. Can I go around your other thigh? Can I have 
this part come across your chin. I'm going to have this other part come across this side of your chest. And then around your back. Okay. Um, let me just check everything. Just lean forward. Okay. Alright, could you lean back a little? Alright. Does it feel like everything is attached fine? It's comfortable, nothing's too tight or anything. Okay. Alright then. So have you do well, I'm just standing directly behind you for this test so that I can get a full view of your balance and everything but as I said earlier this test is just to help me see how your stability is in complex environments so on this screen up here you're going to see some videos and the platform that you're standing on it's going to move in correspondence with the environment on the platform. So it'll feel like you're walking um, and the texture and everything will change as well, okay? So um, first though, I'm just gonna start really simple, all right? So I want you to look on the screen. I'm gonna pop up something real quick. So I want you to try to walk along with the figure on the screen. So just start walking one at a time. Try to, you know, keep your balance as best as you can. But if you're having an issue, don't worry. Of course, that's what the test is for. So just walk along. Okay, I'm going to change the colors. Okay, try to keep walking. Just walk in a straight line. This is an easy one. Just walk on the platform. The platform's moving along with the screen, so you can easily walk along with it. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, you did great on those, but what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you turn your body to the side a little bit. So, I'm gonna have you move your body just Okay, good. So, I want your body turned this way, but I want you to keep your head facing the screen. And so, you're going to see another video. Let me put it on. Okay, this one. So, I want you to walk along with the walking on the screen, but you're going to keep your body facing the diagonal, but your head facing the screen. So this one's a little bit dif more different. You're walking, but your vision is looking kind of elsewhere, you know? So it's a little more challenging, but let's just see how you do. So just keep walking, walking on the platform, like 45 degree angle for the screen, but your face is straight on with the screen. Okay. Okay. All right, you can stop. Turn your body back. Okay, facing center. All right. I'm gonna move you a little bit closer now. So I'm gonna move your platform a little bit closer to. Have you kind of 
I'm gonna have you stand on a slope. So you're gonna, I'm gonna turn the video on. You're gonna see kind of a little mountain slope. And the platform's kind of tilting so that you're, it resembles that slope that you see on the screen. So I want you to try to keep your balance on a slope to see how you can stand on less even ground. Okay. I'm going to put you on, so you're just going to, your platform's going to go back to normal. You're going to stand normally, but I'm going to have an escalator on the screen. So let me put that on. Prepare it. So this is just to see if you can stand still on a moving platform to see if um, maybe any issues with your vision or what caused any balance issues. So see how you're standing on that. Okay, that looks alright. Okay, I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to have you do some walking now through different environments. Just a couple. It's not going to be a lot of it. So I'm going to have you walk and turn it on real quick. Just start walking. The platform will kind of connect as a treadmill. So you're walking through this stone path through a park. So the ground is even. Just try to walk as best as you can. Don't worry if you're having issues. Again, the harness, that's what it's there for. It'll protect you. All right. Okay, I'll turn that off. So now... The next one's going to be a little bit more difficult. I'm going to uh, turn it on real quick. Okay, start walking. So this one, you're in a grassy field, but the path that you're walking on is a lot more narrow than the previous one, so it could be a little more difficult to keep your balance. But again, don't worry, the harness is there, you're safe. But this is just to help me see how you would be able to perform in an environment like this. So that's it for the videos. I think that I saw everything that I needed to see. Um, I'm going to pull you back out a little bit away from the screen. Okay, put my gloves back on. I'm just going to take off your harness, okay? And clasp this in the back. Um, now you can just come off the platform and you can put your shoes back on and then we'll go back in the other room and I will tell you uh, what I think your issue is, okay? Let's go. Alright, so um, we're done with all your testing and I know what your issue is and don't worry, it's not that bad. So within a few weeks, I'd say, we'll be able to have your balance issues fixed. So what it seems like you have is a condition called BPPP and this basically means that in the semicircular canals that I showed you earlier you have these crystals of calcium carbonate that have become displaced into the canals and this makes it to where the sensors in your canals can't appropriately detect the correct movement of the fluid in the canals and thus the correct movement of your head. So because of that, it's causing you some dizziness. Um, the good thing is that this isn't too hard to fix. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you up with a physical therapist, the best one, my favorite physical therapist, so you'll be in wonderful hands, okay? And it'll probably take about six weeks for the crystals to be put back in place out of the canals where they're supposed to go. So you'll meet with the physical therapist once every week, so for one hour every week for about six weeks. And you'll just be doing a series of movements with your head that will help put these crystals back into place. All right? So I'll also have, um, when you go outside to the nurse, I'll just have her schedule you to come back in six weeks from now so that we can see if all the dizziness is gone and everything. Okay? All right. Thank you for coming in. I loved having you in here. Okay?